Hello, YouTube audience. I'm Brandon Stetner. That's Brandon Stetner. Yes, it's 8.14 in the morning right now, and I need to leave at 8.25 to catch my bus to go to work. So this is what I call speed vlogging. I'm going to shoot my video right now, like I am doing right now, and then my future self in the future will be editing the video. Chinese. Yeah, okay. That probably didn't show up well. Um, America. That's a really boring topic. Um, Alright, I've got five minutes left. Crap, four minutes left. I actually really need to hurry. Um, but so, I mentioned I would talk about the difference between techno music and elephants. So today, I'm going to talk about why it's acceptable to say buttload and crapload, but not butt crap. I'm dropping out of school and becoming a dancer. Thank you. Um, hold on, let me put down the robot. I really, really need to go. Um, hopefully, this works out. Yeah, so uh, it's 4 o'clock, right? Actually, it's 5 o'clock right now. That whole editing thing in the morning and... That whole shooting in the morning and editing later thing didn't really work. That is because you suck. And you've always sucked, Mr. Stetner, and because no one's ever loved... No one's ever loved you because you suck. And no one will... Those are my glasses. A broken chocolate man. It's actually a chocolate Oscar or Grammy, I'm not sure which. But... That's a person's head. You can have that head. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Is this a boot? Um... Wait, no, it's not a boot. It's a... Raccoon head. Or raccoon butt. It's a hat. Oh. What's that fancy contraption you've got? Oh, no, this there? is a comb, and it's a butterfly comb because knives are kind of used for stabbing people, and that's not okay in college. Could you comb my hair with that? You're wearing a hat, Mr. Stetner. Could you comb my hat with that? It's my hat, Mr. Stetner. Could you comb your hat with that? I could, but I'm not going to. Oh. You surprised what a man can do with a pipe in his time of need? They're difficult to breathe through because they're not supposed to be breathed through. I see. I don't smoke. Well, that's good. Because otherwise, you would have cancer, and AIDS, and HIV, and multiple sclerosis. You see that one coming? Why don't you introduce yourself? I have many names, Mr. iPhone, but you may call me... Tim. His name's Owen. People call me Father Time, though. They do call him that, because he is the father of time. I might photoshop a beard on for this shot. That would be pretty like right now. Like, I'm pretty, probably poking your beard right now. It'd be pretty hardcore. Are you photoshop? Well, after effects. I was gonna say. It I could sense. photoshop it, but that wouldn't accomplish much. Have you seen a cat maul a squirrel? It's like... Or oh, rabbit, actually, sorry. It's a rabbit. Have you seen a cat maul a rabbit? It's just... What's that facial expression? It's actually kind of cool to watch. Oh. It's brutal and terrifying, but only you put yourself in the rabbit's shoes. Rabbits don't have shoes. I crown you, Sir Hat Man. I think it's on backwards. It's okay. It is on backwards. Because you are the Hat Man. Ski ba da ba da ba, ba da ba da ba, ski ba da ba da ba, ba da ba da ba. You brought me here for a reason, Mr. Stetner. Yes. And that is, of course, of course, talk about talk about the difference between what techno and butt crabs? For the time being. We will be talking about the difference between butt, butt load, crap load, and butt crap. And why it's acceptable to say butt load and crap load, but not butt crap. Butt crap? So you're walking down the street and suddenly you smell something. Your golden hair is blowing in the wind and your dress is flowing because you're female just at this point in time. And suddenly... Is it chocolate? In a way. Did you know that the official term for brofist is actually dap? Dap. Dap me, bro. I don't understand. This is a potato. These are potatoes. This is a fist, this is a Oh. High five. Turkey. But do you know what time it is? It's peanut butter jelly time, my friend. Never say that again. We were found, we were told, we found out, we were told, found out, 
Yeah. Uh, we were told. Brunette yeah. the right term for a male with brown hair? Bruno. Bruno? Evil, horrible staple removers. Have you ever used one of those? They were actually developed in 1473 during the Spanish Inquisition. What if they made like a giant, huge staple remover and used it as like a war machine? Personally, I would be freaking terrified of that thing. Which nation uses staples as a weapon? The United Japan. Staples of America. Wait, what? Nothing. What? I didn't say anything. What? Socialist Republic. United Soviet Staple. Indeed. And they're actually working on the giant staple remover of doom, which will crush your skull and everything else with a force of a huge staple remover. <laughs> staple remover will crush your skull with the force of a huge staple remover. Because tautology. I'm good at saying things too. Well, it will. You can't but say that. But, but, like, but it's like saying. It'll shoot you with the force of a gun. Will shoot you with the force of a gun shooting you. Yes, that's that's probably <laughs> true. But not if the gun was shooting you with cheese. But it would still be the force of the cheese shooting gun shooting you with cheese. Like you, unless it was. It was saying a fake gun. It, it'd be a fake gun shooting the force of a fake gun shooting you with cheese. So, so no matter what, you're, it's correct. But you're dumb. <laughs> Are you drunk, Mr. Stetner? I have Mickey cheese, Mickey puffy cheese crackers. Only a drunk person would think that's a good idea to name something. You're probably <laughs> drunk. <laughs> I must be. This is us signing out. So I'm walking to my bus right now, and it's ridiculously foggy outside. Like, oh my goodness, foggy. Could you see anything? I couldn't see anything. I really shouldn't have vlogged right before I left. I think I hear my bus. Crap, gotta go.